Well, I had Akon on my show a bunch of times. Me and him go way back. And one of the things that he said that got people a little bit riled up was that he said in Africa, people don't really think about slavery, whereas in America, they do. How, how was slavery really looked at out there? Um, well, in Senegal, we've kind of overcome the thought of slavery. We don't even think about it. The only time we think about it, honestly, is when we're doing tours that go to island. <laughs> you know, outside of that, people have lived and moved and way beyond the slavery concept and idea and mind state. And a lot of people got really upset. And this has always been sort of like the African, Black American yes. kind of conflict Very that true. in 2023 is still around. But what is your take when you hear statements like that? Yes, man. I 100% you know, uh, uh, agree to some of that. Um, and I think what happened back in what, I think what, uh, okay, a lot of countries in Africa were all colonized by different countries, okay? Ghana, Nigeria, most of those English speaking countries mm -hmm. were colonized by, by England. England. Yeah. You know, Senegal and then, was France. France, yada yada. Yada yada. All right. So when they when they colonized those countries, you know, I guess when slavery slavery was set up over, they try to like cover it up to me. In all my opinion, you know, um I've been going home and doing a lot of research. Mind you, you know, I'm from there. I was born in Africa. I was born in West Africa, where they came and they took my people mm -hmm. and made them slaves and through the, you know, the whole process. Yeah. But I didn't know much about slavery until I came to America. Mm. So why? Why they didn't teach me this in the third grade and fourth grade? In Africa. In Africa. Why was it being covered up? Why are they trying to make things like, and, and that's the big problem. Oh, I so had. you think that's what's happening? You think that Africans actually are trying to cover up slavery themselves. Well, no, I think they're being brain, they were brainwashed huh. by okay. their colonizers huh. to, to make, to, and, that, and that's why, because I'm not sure how much, you know, I have a school now, and we, we didn't get to that yet, but yeah. I built a school and, you know, I was trying to get an idea, like how much African history has been taught in these schools. How much these kids know about themselves? Yeah. I want my kids to know about themselves, know about everything that's happened to your people from, from beginning to the end. I mean, I can tell you one thing, right? And this is from an outsider's point of view. Like I, I was an immigrant. I came over to America when I was about five and I lived in America my whole life. But in 2000, I went to Africa for the first time. I went to Senegal. And the one thing I, I realized when walking around Senegal was that there was a sense as you meet the people and you know you correspond with the people who live there you have this over like kind of this overbearing sense of the people there know who they are they know where they came from they're comfortable you know what i mean they could trace their families back hundreds of years there isn't a level of uncomfortability that i think black americans have because of the history of slavery in this country was, I think, different than the slavery that was happening in Africa. You know what I mean? It was just at a much greater and I think more brutal level. So you have this sort of uneasiness that happens in America that when you go over there, you're like, oh, I'm the outsider here. <laughs> you know, the white guy is the foreigner. The white guy is the, the guy who's just here visiting. Everyone else feels comfortable with who they are. And it, it was a very interesting feeling. And it, it made me realize how distinctly racist America is, which you never really think about it because you've, I've always been in America, right? So, so it was, I think it's something that until you go over there, you don't yeah, really exactly. understand. I mean, do, do, you, do you agree with what I'm saying? 100% agree, especially yeah. for the black Americans. I think every black American, if you could afford a thousand dollar round trip ticket, yeah, go home, pick a country. Any country. Pick a, any country. I mean, go to the West. Let's go to the West where, you know, most of the slaves came from, mm -hmm. you know, um, go to the West. You are welcome. You know, I'm not sure where blacks got the idea that Africans don't like them. It was a, it was a very good point. It was a, it was a point in life, even to now, where some blacks feel like, you know, they don't like us. They think they think that they are, Africans are better than them or whatever, whatever. You know, I know when I first came to America as a kid, it was a little bad experience for me because, you know, American kids could be very harsh at times. I mean, they clown me. You know, I had an accent. I was darker than most of them, um, and all the and, and, and it's sad for the, because all the black kids knew was Africa was just a bush. Work everybody working around naked because 
That's what it saw. Yeah. They didn't show that much. They were, you know, it's, they didn't, you know, but like now, like that's why I say, if you're grown now, take a trip back home. You know, we love black Americans, you know, and the governments up there are giving them lands for a like minimum price. Like everybody's welcome to come back. You yeah. Know? Um, Ghana had that big thing recently, right? Mm -hmm. the, yeah, the, Ghana's the coming, still having it. Ghana the, has land for like, thing, yeah. if you're American, black, if you're black gold, it's a land for like $1,500. You know, they have a land for you near Cape Coast, which is like, uh, Cape Coast is in fact where that whole castle was, where slavery were taken from. Come and grab this land back. You know, this is where you belong. This is your land. Um, so yeah, man, they are, blacks are welcome. You know, we love them, you know. Um, and let it go and learn that learn the history of what happened. Mind you, you know, these people we were captured. These these con these slaves, they came with guns. We didn't have guns. We couldn't fight. Yeah. You know, they they overpowered us with guns. Right. You know, and they also bribed some of the, the, the leaders the to, to sell off their enemies and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, so it was Every, everyone had their hands in this dirty business, honestly. You know what I'm saying? No one, no one was really clean. When he came to the slave trade, unfortunately. Well, I mean, I'm, uh, I'm not going to blame too much on my on it poor people that are trying to make a living, whatever, which was completely wrong. Right, but I'm you saying know. when you when you're selling off your enemies to the colonizers to be shipped around the world, you got to take a little bit. Of yeah, but I mean, you got to take a little bit yeah, of but, blame I mean, for that as well. Yes, but the, the way the slaves were treated even before they left. I mean, if you get a chance, go to the slave castle, do the tour. Well, I, I went in, in Senegal. I went to the place where it was like the slave distribution right. center. You know, okay. the, you know what I'm talking about? The, the cannons. Yeah. Is it right by the water? Right by the water. Yeah. There's that huge, like, kind of like a like a shark tooth kind of Yeah, I, I haven't met the one in Senegal, but I've yeah. been to the book. No, it was gun. sad, man. I started to cry there. It was it was sad. It was a sad place to, to think yeah, that go, this go, was Go human, learn your history, you know. And, humans and, were treated like that. Yeah, it was fucked up. Yeah, but, you know. We, I love my black Americans. I mean, without them, I wouldn't be where I am today. Mm -hmm. They embraced me from the first day they saw me, and and I'm I'm who I am because of Black America. So shout out to Black America, and any one of you always welcome. Go to my house. You can stay in my house. Yeah, yeah. So everyone can stay at your house. Everybody can stay in, in my Ghana, house. is it? Ghana. Okay, so. your house about to be overrun. I'm like, Oprah, <laughs> you can stay in my house. You can stay in my house. You can stay. It's about to be a crazy ass party at your house, man. <laughs>